Many people are familiar with this piece of artwork, the Great Wave of Kanagawa, but you might not know that it's actually part of 36 individual pieces, each with a view on Mount Fuji. Now the thing about photos or images or anything that has a picture in it, if you know where to hold it up and you're standing in the right location, you can make them line up. You can hold this virtual thing, this photo up, and get it to line up perfectly from where it was really taken. So we can use the same technique we use with the chair with regular photos or with Japanese art from 200 years ago. Now remember that the first painting is called The Great Wave of Kanagawa. We can find that location and then create an estimated position where this painting is set. First of all, we'll come down and look at Mount Fuji and see just how dominant and large it is around this area. That's a great thing to put into a whole bunch of paintings. Now we can zoom into our estimated location and line it up and get a really good fit for where the Great Wave of Kanagawa could have been depicted from. And then we just do the rest for all the other ones. So remember this was just the first out of 36, so second is Red Fuji. We've got a few hints, it's to the south a little bit apparently, but not a lot to work with, so we're just going to line it up best we can. So not a great fit, but at least an approximate location. Same again with the third one. This is called Lightning Below the Summit, or sometimes the rainstorm below the summit, and we have a bit more background landscape to line up here, so we can maybe get a slightly better location, but it's still just a guess, and it's mostly the size of Mount Fuji in the painting that helps us know that it's at least close by. The fourth one is over in what is modern day Tokyo, and we're lucky here because we have a bridge name. We can find the bridge, Manon Bridge, and then get that lined up very well. So you can see we've got lines going out to all 36 locations. So let's roll back and go through each one individually now and just see how good a fit we get for all of these paintings. As we go, we'll keep track of which one we're looking at in this little overview window. I'm not going to try to say all the names of these paintings, we'll just run through them. B plus, D plus, C minus. A, A minus, B minus, B, B plus, D plus, B minus, D. We actually found the correct bridge. A plus, B plus, B minus, C plus, D. A, B minus, C plus, B, A plus, B plus, B, A minus, B plus, A minus, C, A plus, C, B plus, D minus, B. C minus, D minus, we found the right lake. A minus, B plus. 
Hope you enjoyed this and uh, learned something about Japanese art and GIS. Happy GIS Day!